Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you firsthand how to open a Webull brokerage account by jumping into my iPhone, showing you all of the information that you'll need to provide on the application, the options that you want to make sure you have enabled or disabled when signing up and choosing your account, and finally, how to actually submit the application. Jumping into my iPhone, I have the Webull application pulled up here. You can access this by clicking on the link in the comment section or description below. That'll take you directly to the sign up page, providing you the opportunity to earn anywhere between between 6 to 12 free shares of stock worth a minimum guaranteed value of $34 up to a potential $30,600 for depositing as little as one cent into your new account. After signing up for Webull, you can start the application process. You'll first need to enter your country of residence. I'm going to say United States, and then you'll need to choose an ID type. So you can choose between a passport, driver's license, state ID, or other if applicable. I'm going to say driver's license, and then you'll be required to upload front and back pictures of that ID. I already have an open Webull account so I'm not gonna sign up for another one these are just example pictures please keep in mind you have to act upload actual pictures of the front and back of your ID type. Now, Webull is required by law to verify your identity, so these pictures are mandatory. At this point, once you've uploaded them, you can go ahead and hit continue. On the next page, you'll enter all of your information, including your first name, last name, your gender, birthday, your marital status, and then you'll get to this section under number of dependents. Now, if you're like me and you have no dependents, you still will need to enter one because you need to include yourself. Next, you'll need to enter the ID number and the expiration date of the document that you uploaded on the last page. So if you took pictures of your driver's license, this is where you'd enter your driver's license number and enter the expiration date. Next, you'll need to enter your social security number or ITIN if you don't have a social. And lastly, you'll need to enter your phone number and address. On the next screen, you'll need to enter your employment status. So are you employed? Are you self-employed? Unemployed? Are you retired? Or are you a student? We'll then need to choose an option for the type of business that you're in and then you'll need to enter your employer name once you've entered that information you can hit continue and then you're going to be asked a few questions about your investment objectives uh, liquidity as well as some other financial information you'll enter your investment experience so let's just say none because this video is geared towards beginners what's your overall objective for investing let's say income but if you're looking to trade speculatively if you're looking to grow your portfolio or just preserve the capital you have you can choose any of those options i'm going to leave this as income how long do you plan to invest your money less than four years four to seven years seven or more years so if you're a more long-term person you can say seven or more years you'll then enter your risk tolerance let's say moderate. How important is liquidity to you? Let's say somewhat important. And of course, you want to answer all of these questions based off of your personal objectives, not what I'm just entering here on screen. This is just an example. You'll then enter your approximate yearly income. So let's say 25,000 to 50,000. Your total net worth you can choose between these options here. And then it's going to ask for a total approximate value of your cash and liquid investments. You can choose between these options here. Hit yes continue then it's going to ask a few questions that for most people the answer will be no so you can quickly read through these and hit continue you'll then agree that the information you entered is correct hit i agree and then you're brought to the account types page so let's go ahead and go through all of the features available on this page and i'll explain what's best not to include on your account as a beginner and what's best to have included so the first thing we're going to do is choose our account type we have the option of a margin account or a cash account now as a beginner i'd highly recommend starting out with a cash account there are many risks associated with margin trading so it's best to fully understand what those risks are before signing up and using this type of account and if later you fully understand it and it's something that you're interested in taking part in you can always add that feature later or just add a whole new account specifically for margin scrolling down to trading privileges you'll see that stocks and etfs are selected by default this is great and you actually can't deselect these but you'll also see the option for options now as a beginner i'd highly recommend not adding this to your account right now 
like margin trading, there are a lot of risks involved. And if later you fully understand what options trading is, the risks associated, you can add that later pretty easily. Next up is Weeble Crypto. Now this one is not selected by default. However, if you are interested in trading cryptocurrency on Weeble, go ahead and add this to your account. It won't do you any harm. Now, the next feature is the stock lending income program. This one is selected by default, but I'd actually recommend turning this off. Uh, there's no doubt that this program can be beneficial, but there are also downsides like how this program can affect dividends on the stock that you own. Now, I'm not gonna get into these programs in this video, but if that's something you're interested in me diving deeper into, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Once you've chosen all the features you wanna include on your account, you can hit continue. You'll then need to agree to some terms and conditions, e-sign and submit your application. Application approval does take usually a few business days, but after you are approved, you can deposit funds on the platform, which you can find the tutorial for that here as soon as I post it. Signing up and depositing as little as one cent into your new Weeble brokerage account will make you eligible to earn anywhere between a minimum six free shares of stock up to a total of 12 free shares worth a minimum guaranteed value of $34 all the way up to a potential $30,600, depending on the number of shares that you get and the value of each of those shares. Thank you for watching, and as always, make sure to leave any questions or comments in the comments section below, or shoot me a DM on Instagram at Ryan McGregor with two R's at the end. I have posted quite a few Weeble tutorials, including a complete guide to getting started with your account, as well as a quick and easy tutorial to how to get started trading stock on the Weeble platform.